After building a dynamic system in Simulink, you may need to iterate over different values of a set of parameters to observe the performance changes of the system. The process of systematically varying the values of parameters is called parameter sweeping. Parameter sweeping provides a systematic approach to exploit, optimize, and validate the behavior of a dynamic system under different parameter values, and can help you to gain insights, improve performance, or enhance the robustness of your system. How to sweep parameters of Simulink model? Assume you have built a dynamic system in Simulink, a face-lock-the-loop PIL model. The first thing you need to do is to fix the other parameters such as output currency of the charger pole, BCO sensitivity, loop filter resistance, and so on. Then, open your Simulink model in MATLAB. If you want to check whether the PL is stable when varying the loop filter capacitance for the third order response, the intuitive approach is to change the capacitance value of C3 in the model. Run the model and then connect the results. Parameter sweeping in such a manual way may consume a lot of human effort and time. A more efficient way is to write a meta program to automatically sweep the parameters of a Simulink model. You first need to select the signals that you want to log and analysis in the Simulink model. Right-click on the signal line and then choose Log Selected Signal. To retrieve the results after simulations for analysis, you can open the model settings. And then on the data import or export page, set the name of the variable used for logging signals, which is called log sort in this example. The next step is to define the set of parameter values that you want to check. Create a for loop to iterate over a designed range of the parameter values. Within the loop, you first need to update the parameter of the Simulink block with the setParam command, where the first input denotes the block name. Here, BD root represents the name of the top-level model. The second input is the name of the parameter that you want to vary, and the third input is the value of parameter that you want to set in this round. In the loop, you can run simulations with the updated parameter values using the sim function or the parsim function for running the simulation with parallel computing. Finally, you can analyze the simulation result in or after the loop. In this example, you use another loop to plot the step response of the system under different values of C3. You can use the dot operation to get the logs out variable from the output of the case simulation, and then use the get element function to get the output signal in the logs out. Use output dot values dot data to get the signal, whereas output dot values dot time to get the time steps. You can plot the step response of each simulation round in one figure where you can see whether the system is stable on the different values of C3. To sum up, this video introduced the how to sweep the parameters of a Simulink model with meta programming, which can save time and effort since you need to change the parameter values and then run simulations to connect and analyze results manually. Please note here we just showed a general workflow, and the exact implementation may vary according to your simulation models and system requirements. Thanks for watching.